I'm Charles Peltasalo. Uh, I am a University of Montana graduate in Spanish languages. Uh, I have taught tennis for 15 to 20 years. Uh, I transitioned from that to technical editing and indexing in the Baltimore, Washington area with LexisNexis National Library of Medicine and U.S. Patent Office. Uh, now I live in South Carolina where I am focused mainly on my art and my family of pets. Remote viewing first came to my attention when, through the popular press, I believe a former philosophy teacher of mine showed me a book by Howard Bloom that called Out There. And uh, that st stuck in my mind and once I realized that it had become declassified and just following the popular press, I said I need to get me some of that. I wanted to find out more about it. I settled on CRV and RVIS because it seemed to be the most sensible and it seemed to be the, the school of remote viewing instruction that was closest to the primary source. It was my chance to get as close to the original method of remote viewing as taught and practiced in the United States program. My greatest challenge in remote viewing has to be uh, trying to short circuit my uh, linear thinking and my narrow mindedness and to leave myself open to the information that's coming into me. And that seems to be a challenge in daily life too. Uh, what nonsense is generated in my head as opposed to real good information that's coming in from the universe at large or from my subconscious. I see the benefits applying on a moment-by-moment -moment basis in my daily life by my powers of observation, perception. Uh, it just makes daily living uh, that much richer. Uh, I studied with Paul Smith at, with uh, RVIS because I feel like it is the, the most grounded, uh, well thought out, uh, correct methodology as developed uh, by the United States government when this style method of remote viewing was was formulated I feel like this is the primary source where I can get the cleanest information and the most thorough instruction it's hard work like anything of any value you've got to sweat and there, it's a lot of hard work but it's also a lot of fun it's intriguing it's interesting it's fascinating it's useful and uh, it's comprehensive if I couldn't learn from Ingo Swan I wanted to learn from one of his one of his uh, protégés uh, so that I could get as close to the original information as possible. So, so it is, it's, it's precisely what I've been looking for. I see uh, remote viewing as a, as a discipline that as long as I practice it, it will continue to benefit me.